I've traveled all over the world covering fashion tech, and there's nothing like the maker community in Canada, and especially here in Calgary. So Angela, you designed the Absolute Dress and this year, as I understand, it has an upgrade. Tell me about it. Well, this year we created a drink scanner to go with the dress. So you can have your Absolute Martini scanned and the dress will change color to match the drink. Oh, fantastic. We're here at Make Fashion 5.0. I'm so excited to see the show tonight. What makes this year special for you? It's so special, Amanda. Five years now, we have designers from the first year showing the runway, which is what made Make Fashion international. And now we have even drones on the runway. We have the team is here from, from Toronto. And we also have the very first indigenous fashion tech garment. So I'm super excited to see it. I'm super excited too. Good luck tonight. Thank you so much. So Angel, tell me about your dress that's going to be on the runway tonight. My dress is called The Matriarch Speaks and it's a commemoration to our grandmothers. It's a traditional dress which is what the indigenous women would wear when they were showing the grace and poise of being an indigenous woman. So I've incorporated LED technology into what would have been the buckskin fringe and it moves with the dancer or the model for tonight. I'm so excited to see it. Thank you. Thank you. So Chris and Kyle, as I understand, you collaborated on a new version of Lumen Couture. Tell me about the upgrade. So the hat last year was so beautiful and I was really inspired by it and I thought, hey, I'd love to join the team and take it uh, to the next level design-wise and really bring it into like a beautiful My Fair Lady meets Blade Runner place. Yeah. And how did the tech get an upgrade, Chris? The tech is smarter, lighter, and just better. This year we're doing real-time projection mapping inside the hat. It has a PC inside the hat, and the weight is about half, and the battery life is about double. Fantastic. Good luck on the runway. Thank you. So tell me about your sound activated finale piece. My dress is Artemis orchestrating the Milky Way and the story behind it and my inspiration is Artemis running late to a ball and had nothing to wear so she reached down and cut herself a few yards of the Milky Way. The dress is like you said sound activated. My friend Katami is in from Victoria. She's a violinist. She'll be walking the runway playing and the sound sensor is under her violin so the more vigorously she plays the brighter the stars on the dress will light up. So Hillary and Lindy, we meet in Calgary. Tell me about your garment that's going to be on the runway tonight. Well, the drone dress is a piece that reclaims drones from bros. And it puts it on the runway. Yeah, and so the garment is also really looking at, you know, what server rooms could be like if they were going to a wedding. Interesting mashup. Well, good luck on the runway tonight. Thanks, Thanks so much. So Kelly, tell me about your garment on the runway this year. Um, the dress, it's a Hutterite inspired wedding dress. I grew up in Hutterite colony in Manitoba and I wanted to take the form of that and the, the old fashioned style and just amp it up a little. So I added, I created a beautiful uh, lace overlay and then put some Hunger Games inspired lights underneath it. And I think it's a good update for an old fashioned dress. Very good, thank you. You're welcome.
So Lauren, welcome back to Make Fashion 5.0. Tell me about your garment this year. Well this year it's called Aurora and it has lights on the pants that feed from red to green to blue and back around and it has some lights on the sleeve that are controlled by a heart rate sensor and it will blink to my heartbeat. So do you think your heartbeat's going to be going extra fast because of the stage or you're natural out there? I'm pretty much a natural. <laughs> So Teddy, tell me about your garments on the runway today. Uh, so my team is Electric Vibe and we have two pieces this year. The first one is Mother Nature and that was inspired by our recent trip to Shenzhen where we experienced uh, Typhoon Haima, which is a really powerful storm and kind of tried to display that in our piece. The second one is Vintage Volume, it's kind of inspired by classical Victorian era clothing. And we kind of fused it with more modern music and hip hop. Great, good luck today on the runway. Thank you. So, Arena, tell me about your designs today. This year I brought a piece of wearable art titled Double Vision. This piece was made using 12 different laser systems and crystals. This new design allows electricity to flow through the panels, changing color from white to translucent. The design portrays a very shy girl afraid of expressing her feelings, but as she becomes more familiar with her surroundings, she gradually learns to articulate her emotions. So Shannon, we're at Make Fashion 5.0. You've been doing this for five years now. Where does fashion technology go from here? Yeah, I think, I think fashion technology is just growing into itself right now. Um, in the beginning, it was largely an experiment, but we're starting to see um, real applications for it in industry. We're starting to see real applications for it from an educational perspective. So I think I think in the next five to ten years it's going to be a really interesting ride like as things develop um, and things change. I, I, I think the world is starting to wake up to the fact that we're doing something that is relevant. Great, good luck tonight. Thank you.